What's up guys? Today we're going to do a real quick video on just how to set up walk snail on your flight controller with beta flight. That way you can get your OSD on your screen. So it's just going to be the quick, real simple way how I do it. I'm not going to get real detailed and technical. There's plenty of other videos out there for that. If you're looking for a real simple, fast way to get connected, that's what this video is going to be. Now, I don't have a way to record my computer, so I'm going to do this all on my phone, which will also show just how simple it really is to do this, that I use my phone. Now, I have an Android phone, so I have Betaflight on Android that I'm going to use. Just so you can see, it's pretty much the same exact thing, and it translates over to your computer, so it'll be no different on the computer either. But it's going to be real short and sweet. I'm going to show you the preset I use, how to go through it, and it's, it's pretty much it. So we're going to keep it real simple. That's the way I like it. Simple on, get it done, get out there and go fly. All right, just to show you guys what we're going to be doing this on. I just recently got this 2 to 4S flight controller, 20 amp, and I'm just going to plug directly into it. I haven't hooked it up or soldered anything yet. You can plug directly in and still do this. But you need to keep in mind what you are, you're going to connect your Walksnail VTX to. So I like to run VBAT with the power negative, which means going straight to the power negative on the flight controller. And then you're going to pick a UART on here to connect your TX and RX. You need to remember which one you use because that's going to be important when we go to use the preset and make sure this is connecting. So, if you use UR1, remember that. You're going to need to know that in beta flight. When you solder it on, make sure RX goes to TX and TX goes to RX. They switch, so it's not RX to RX. If it's the same, you're not doing it right. Make sure they're opposites. You can power it on through 5 volt on your flight controller. I run 4S, so I use VBAT. You can use a back on, on VBAT with 6S, however you want to do it. The sky is the limit. That's what I love about walk snails. You have the options to do it how you like to do it. Now on this particular flight controller, I'm going to use RX and TX2. So I'm going to remember, if you need to write it down, write it down. But I'm going to be soldered to RX TX2 on this one. Alright, now let's go over to beta flight. And I'll show you what we do there to keep it simple. And get you guys in the air with some OSD. Alright, we are here in beta flight for Android. This will be the same in CDB. This will be the same on your computer. It's no different. So, what we're going to do is hit connect to connect to the flight controller. Close this out. Alright, now this flight controller hasn't been soldered. I haven't. I literally just plugged it in for the very first time ever. So, we're going to look and see. It's on 4.4.3. This same technique will work on. 4.5, 4.3, won't be much different. All right, so we're gonna go down to presets. All right, we're gonna search in the presets tab. Avatar. Search that, and the first thing to come up is gonna be OSD for WTF, DJI, Avatar check our firmware firmware matches now this is where remembering where you were going to put that which you are you had to solder to is important so you click this you want to have map to display port and set hd osd checked and then you we know we're using two so we're going to check to pick two save and reboot now beta flight for android isn't the best but sometimes you have to reconnect, it won't do it automatically. Now if we look here, for UART 2 is checked here where it says MSP. And over here in peripherals, it says VTX MSP plus display port. Alright, so make sure that the configuration matches where you have it soldered on the flight controller. And then it says VTX MSP on DisplayPort. Alright, it's as simple as that. 
From there, you can go to your OSD, move your OSD elements around how you want them. That's up to you, personal preference. But it's as simple as that. Go to the preset, search your avatar, select the correct UART that you're soldered to, save, reboot. It's as simple as that. Now, if you want to click them manually, you can click in configuration in the ports tab. You can click the correct UART and then change it to MSP plus display port and go from there. But the presets, the quick and easy way, is as simple as they were doing a few clicks and searching. Just the easiest way to do it. And it takes no time at all. I did it from my phone. And then you can get your OSD set up and get the flying or get to whatever it is you need to do next. So... Thanks for watching. Hope that helps. If there's any questions, put them down in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them when I can. See you guys on the next one.